Hey guys, so we're back at the Drift 21 workshop and if you remember a few weeks ago I did a video building this awesome AE86 and just looking at it now I still think it looks absolutely brilliant. Sat in the workshop but today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to pick up a BMW E30 M3, one of the cars that started it all off and we're going to try and get it up to about 700 brake horsepower which I think we'll be able to do. To do that we're going to have to play a lot with the engine though and that's what I'm going to show you in this video. To get up to that kind of BHP I think we're going to have to use a V8 but we'll see what we can do with that. First of all then let's pick the colour now, we're probably going to paint the car anyway but we're just going to pick this nice red. 215 brake horsepower this car when it came out, doesn't seem a lot now but it was revolutionary for its time and just look at it, it looks brilliant. Just while we're looking around the BMW M3, a big shout out to 505 Games for sponsoring today's video. Drift 21 if you haven't played it yet allows you to mod some of your favourite cars and then drop them on some great drift and toge tracks, really good fun and hopefully today I can show you a little bit about how it all works. I will drop the Steam link in the description that will take you straight to the page if you do want to take a look. Okay then so here it is then the BMW BMW M3 we've stripped everything out of it so we've got some interior bits we need to do we'll put that right at the end but the big piece about today is about changing the engine and we're going to really put something huge in there and try and get up to 700 brake horsepower so we've moved it over to the lift and now what I'm going to do is strip some more parts off it in my last video I went through in some detail about how to set up all the suspension parts on here so I'm just going to whiz through that a little bit today because I want to get the engine on the actual engine mount and then we can play about with that and see some of the parts that we can do so let's just strip very quickly all these parts off they all come off individually and as I said in my last video if you are interested in how cars are put together and how all the mechanics work this game's great for that it does give you some basic understanding of how a car is actually built now there is some creative license in this I know some of the cars are slightly different to real life but hey it's a game and it's supposed to be fun so here we go then we have taken everything off the front end and I'm going to do the same on the back end later. We've still got the prop shaft there, we'll change that and the rear suspension I'll whip that off later on. Still got the radiator on and the fuse box is still in there and a few other bits and bobs so you can actually change all the bodywork on these as well but I don't think for this car again I'm going to change a lot of the bodywork. I might just change the rear spoiler. We'll take a look in the shop and the warehouse later on and see what we can do with that. There's the brake servo, ECU and you've got that front subframe still there as well. Okay then so we need to pick an engine so let's just have a look at what we've got on the engine um, but before we do that I am just going to clear all the parts of the floor so I've still got a load of bits that were on the floor from the last build that I did so that's a useful little tip there just use that radial dial and you can clear everything up. In the AE86 build we actually dropped this boxer engine in 142 brake horsepower I think we got it up well over 200 in that build but that's a smaller car so I think for this one as I said I want to go big guns and see what we can do with this V8. So this has got 431 horsepower as standard. Um, these models are really cool actually. I do love spinning them around. So what I'm going to do is buy that and drop it on the engine mount here. Now what you can do on this engine mount, you can spin the whole engine round and as you can see you can take all these different parts off. It all goes together a bit like a jigsaw puzzle um, but you can actually just change one or two parts or you could change the whole thing. You can even get inside the engine as well. So I'm just going to start stripping parts off this and then we're going to decide what we're going to do but I think to get up to 700 brake horsepower I'm going to have to put a couple of turbos on this which is going to be fun so uh, intake manifold we're going to take that off and we're also going to take the fuel rail off now some of these parts do come off in a certain order so you can't just take um, different things off before taking the part that's actually attached to it off as well so you can see we can get right into the engine blocks if we want to so let's just take the pressure plate off we're also going to take the clutch off um, and the flywheel as well so we can upgrade all of those as you see on most of these parts it just says basic next to them so there are performance parts tuned parts and sport parts as well so we're going to be able to change these depending what it is to those different parts and um, let's just spin the engine around this is really cool so we can see underneath because what we are going to do we're just going to take these exhaust manifolds off at the bottom here as well 
Now, one of the things we are going to do as well with the engine, um, if you remember from my last video, is that you can actually press the E button on the keyboard and it will show you missing parts. So if you do get stuck a little bit and you think, well, what am I actually buying now and what do I need? What's the next part that I need? By pressing that E button, you can actually see what the next part is. And as I've pressed it here, you can see that it's asking me what intake manifold that I want. So we had the basic one on there. Um, I'm deciding whether to put the, um, the big trumpets on. Um, I don't think so though, because the peak torque gain is low there. Um, so I think we're gonna probably just put the performance one on that one there. Um, and this will enable us then to put um, a turbo on there as well, I think. So we're gonna do that. So let's drop that on, that looks very nice. And then we've got the fuel rail as well. So um, I think uh, there's the basic one. So I think we're probably gonna put the, um, the performance one on, I think. This is step, oh, this is the sport one. This is the stage three. Um, goes up to 7,500 RPM. So I think that's probably the one we're going to pick. Let's drop that on then. That just sits on nicely. And again, because we've got the missing parts on, it tells us the other pieces that we need. So we're just going to put this blow off valve on. Of course, we need a blow off valve. That's just universal. Again, the models are really cool on that. Um, so we're just going to drop that on there. And then we've also got um, all those other pipes that we're going to put on. But we're also going to change the exhaust manifold. Now, the reason we've changed these is we can now put a turbo on the bottom and I'm not going to mess about it I'm just going to go for <laughs> I think I'm just going to go for the type 5 turbo um, I don't know why I'd go for any of the smaller ones so let's just go for this big type 5 uh, peak torque gain high and obviously because this is a V8 I am going to need two of these as well so let's just take a look what this looks like let's drop it on and we're also going to need some waste gates as well I think and there's some other pipe work that goes on there so yeah let's put two of those on that's brilliant um, and then it's also showing you the pipe work here that you do need. So these are exhaust turbo pipes. So this is linking obviously the exhaust gases with the intake and we've got some waste gates there as well. That's brilliant. So let's drop all those on. So the engine's nearly done now. Um, I'm not gonna go into the full internals of the engine, but you can on these engines. Um, but I think we just need to get this up to 700 and with what we're doing here, that should be enough. So let's put that last waste gate on there. We also need some air filters on. We're just gonna put these sport ones on. Again, you can put the different filters on there. When we do actually get this in the car, we are gonna put it on the rolling road, the dyno, and we're gonna find out how powerful this is but we're going to do that later on so now we've got this done let's just have a quick look at the different stages so you can see that we've ticked all the boxes that we need there because the other pieces we need are actually on the car so we're going to move this to the car how this is fitted in this car we will see so that is a full v8 twin turbo engine in the m3 that's certainly going to be a lot more powerful than the 215 brake horsepower now we've got the radiator there, but we do need an intercooler as well. We're gonna drop one of those on in a moment and you can see all the different parts that we've got here. It's great being able to move underneath the car. I'm just gonna drop the car down and put a strut brace on the top there. So that's done. Um, and we can see here, we've got the battery in the front. Now I know on these cars, the battery is normally in the back. Um, but again, there's some creative license here as well. We've not done anything with the suspension yet. I'm gonna show you that in a moment. Um, but let's just put this up again and we just need to drop the intercooler on. So that's where the intercooler goes on here. And again, we're just clicking on that and we're just gonna put, um, I think we're just gonna put this big intercooler on, stage three intercooler. We'll drop that on there. And then it's gonna show you all the pipe work that you need as well. So let's drop all that pipe work on. Once we've got these pipes on, we can start to work backwards on the car. I'm just gonna put a short gearbox on this because we're looking for low down torque. So that's great. So we'll drop that in there. And then we also need to build the exhaust as well. So we've got the connectors, but we need to put the middle section in first. So this is all pretty standard stuff on most of the cars that you'll see on here. Um, so we're just gonna build the exhaust out. And as you can see, it shows you where the parts are. I think on this exhaust, we're just gonna go straight through to the back and then put a standard twin tip on there. I think that's what it will give us there. Yeah, standard twin tip. So I'm just trying to keep this car looking pretty standard. So I did it with the AE86. Um, it's gonna look a very different kind of BMW M3, but I don't want it to stand out too much. So here we are then, this is just building all the front end together. So I'm just gonna go through this very quickly so you can just see basically how this works. Thank you. 
Now we're going to move to the back and I'm going to change the diff. I've stripped all the back off and I'm going to put a locked differential diff on there. So let's just put that on the back. And then this piece here, I'm just going to whiz through very quickly and show you how it all goes together. So you've got the drive shafts, you've got the controller arms, and then you've got all the carriers and the shock absorbers as well. And then obviously you've got the calipers and the hubs. Now I am going to take the fuel tank out of this as well because I can. So the new fuel tank that I'm going to get is one of these performance fuel tank. This actually goes in the boot so I think I'm going to have to drop the car down to drop, put it into the boot. Um, obviously, this is going to save a little bit of weight and it's a little bit safer. This is why people put them in. Um, yeah, that's going to have to go in the boot. So we'll drop that down there and we'll drop the car down. Let's pop the boot open and I think we'll be able to put the fuel tank in there. I am definitely going to change that spoiler as well. I think there are some different spoilers on the game. So let's drop this fuel tank in. That just goes in the boot there. Brilliant. I think we do need to start thinking about the exterior of the car a little bit as well and especially what wheels to put on there. So now I've got all the calipers and everything on. I've picked these 18 inch wheels. So I was going to put 19s on it, but I think these 18s will be fine actually. And a bit like the A86, I'm going for something that doesn't look too bling. So once you've got the tire on the wheel, you do need to balance it up as well. Do love this. So pick it up off the balancer and we'll put it on the car and we'll take a look at what that looks like. For the video today, I have sped up some of these sequences. This game is very detailed, so you can spend a lot of time just messing about with different parts. But now I've got the wheels on and the tires, I think this car is starting to look really nice. Now, obviously, we've still got the interior to do. I'm not going to change the bumpers, I don't think. Um, just that rear spoiler. I am going to have to put some paint on this car as well, but I do want to keep it this kind of red color. So let's just have a look at the spoiler and see what we've got um, in the warehouse here. So we'll just take that one off and drop it on the floor, and then we'll see what we can do here. So I think... I think we're going to go for this spoiler type three. So pretty standard. It's just got that black lip on the back. That looks really nice, actually. So the car is starting to really come together now. So we've got all the internals, right? All the suspensions done. We've got that enormous V8 in there. We don't know how powerful it is yet, um, but I'm going to try and get up to about 700 brake horsepower. So now we can do a check on the car and we're going to move it to the dyno because the only thing that needs doing now is the interior and that's the fun bit obviously. So let's take a look on the interior and see what parts we can put in there. Again, I'm not looking for anything too bling. I think I am going to keep this car red when I paint it. It's starting to look really nice. I love the stance on these cars in the game. Um, those wheels and tyres are definitely the right choice for this for me. Let's take a look inside then and the first thing we're going to do here is the steering wheel. So I'm just going to use this standard universal steering wheel here, the black one. Um, I probably would like some more choice on steering wheels in the game but I'm sure that's going to come maybe in some DLCs or some updates later in the game. Um, seat wise again all pretty standard. I'm just going to use this red one um, just to match everything up. I do like that ready orange that we've got there so we'll put two of those in. That's great. And then of course we've got the gear knob. Um, now there is some good choice on gear knobs but I'm just going to go for the uh, I think I'm going to go for the dice at the top I do like that probably would be really uncomfortable to use <laughs> but hey it looks cool in the game and then I think for the handbrake I know I went for a katana on the last one which is really cool but this car needs something slightly different I think it's just going to go for a kind of a, a standard universal handbrake um, there I think that probably will do in this car again just trying to keep that red theme matching I'm not going to change anything on the dashboard you can do but I'm not going to change that so the next thing is to drop it into the paint shop and just to see what color we can get it I'm going to change the wheels as well just change the color on there and get that spoiler painted up um, you can also put decals on these cars as well I've not done that yet um, but that's something I'll play about later in the game so let's just have a quick look at the car parameters so we're going to run the dyno and see how high we got this car up to and we've got it up to just under 700 brake horsepower. Um, it's got a ton of torque though. That torque is incredible and it comes straight on. Now the poorest part is the spark plug. I didn't change those when I went to the engine mount and I should have done that. I think that would just tip you over 700 brake horsepower. So we've achieved what we wanted to achieve. Also the car back from the paint shop looking very, very nice. So this is the kind of the standard red, but now we've got all the spoiler linked up into that color as well. It looks fantastic. And I've also painted the wheels a bit of a dark gold. Um, I'm sorry, that's just my thing. 
Um, I maybe thought about doing this car white as well with gold wheels. That would have looked very nice too. Now there are lots of tracks to test your cars out on Drift 21. And we're going to use this Higashi track here. Very famous Toge track. I'm going to see what this car is going to perform like. It feels like an absolute monster. Remember that torque curve that's not really a curve? Well, let's take a look at it around the track. Yes, the car is an absolute beast. What I thought, really difficult to control. I think I'm gonna to need to do some tuning on this, but we achieved our goal of a 700 brake horsepower BMW E30 M3. Thanks again to 505 Games for sponsoring the video and thank you guys for watching this. If you are new here, do check out the rest of the channel. There's so many more sim racing videos on there. And 2022 is going to be an exciting year for the channel with so much more content coming on board. Lastly, thank you again for all your support in 2021 and wishing you all a very fantastic Happy New Year.